Hi, my name is Eliza and I help to create our current exhibition, Alfred Wallace Rediscovered. So I'm going to talk about some of my favourite works uh, in our current exhibition. And Alfred Wallace is perhaps best known for his paintings of ships and boats, but I think that he's perhaps at his most brilliant when he's depicting places and landscapes. We often talk about perspective in Alfred Wallace's works, or perhaps his lack of perspective, and this is often linked to his status as an untrained artist or a so-called naive artist. But actually I think there's a lot more going on in his works. And this is showcased really beautifully in this work, one of my favourites in the show, Two Ships and a Steamer Sailing Past the Port, Falmouth and St Anthony's Lighthouse. And we can see that Wallace depicts the coastline from above, this, the frilly shape of the south coast of Cornwall and also this street of houses kind of going upwards on the right hand side of the canvas giving it this sort of map like feel but at the same time he's showing things like the ships and boats and the lighthouses from a much more conventional side on view and this gives the feeling of being really immersed in the landscape of being surrounded by it but also something that i think is really important in wallace's work is the sense of moving through the landscape which is something that would have been crucial to somebody who'd worked as a mariner for much of his life. We can also see Wallace drawing on his personal experiences in this small work here called The Flying Scud. And Wallace didn't give titles to his works, but he did quite often identify the ships or boats that he was depicting. And in this case, The Flying Scud was a lugger boat that Wallace had actually worked on, uh, fishing for herring and mackerel around the coast of Britain. And even though it's a very small painting, Wallace includes this wealth of detail and sort of knowledge of what was going on on board. So we see these small fishermen hauling in their nets full of fish. And we might imagine one of them to be a small self-portrait of Wallace, perhaps. To learn more about Alfred Wallace Rediscovered, visit our website, kettlesyard.co.uk forward slash Alfred Wallace at home.